Yeah, funny. I was mentioning on your Instagram this morning, dude. Every every um every post I see, you're like going to do cardio. I know that routine. I was kind of funny. I know you replied back, but I remember those days, dude. It was like morning, night cardio for me. I was doing it twice a day, right? And heading to the gym in between. It was like between doing laundry, cooking food, and putting time on the treadmill. It's like nonstop. So I know what the grind's like. But uh, stay on it, dude. All right? I just got back, so. Uh, we'll connect, okay? We have uh, four weeks left, so what we're gonna do is slowly grow into the show. Uh, we're not gonna have a long depletion. It's gonna be a treadmill, and it's gonna be incline 10, and it's gonna be 3.4 miles per hour. And if you can do faster, that'll be the best, but if not, just keep everything consistent, uh, and we get to our goal. Welcome to the new video. I think this should be an episode for Road to Olympia and so far I didn't talk at all. Kind of wanted to switch it up a little bit just uh, to provide a little bit more content for you guys. I could have just skipped this but I was like even if you watch some of the things of this video and you find anything informational I'm happy you know what I mean. So this episode is more like just for me to have more content and to share with you guys. Uh, Today I just wanted to show you my pre-workout meal, my post-workout meal and actually uh, today we have a shoulder based day with the touch-ups of a bag. So uh, Mondays I have a full bag day which is mostly focused on a thickness, let's just say, uh, of a heavier uh, workouts and stuff like that. Like you watched, I hope you watched the last video, it's gonna be somewhere here with Nile. That was kind of a more of a type of uh, my Monday's workout, it's more like higher weight, lower reps, lower volume, and then Friday is more for like a wideness, lats for that V taper, uh, and it's always only like two to three exercises, it's just isolation movements, and then we have a full delt workout. Uh, delts are probably one of my strongest body parts, so I'm gonna bring the mic and just film for you guys. What I basically did, you already know the drill for a morning routine and everything, but today we had a pre-workout meal, uh, macros didn't change since the last full of eating because guys, today is a Friday, we are a little bit less than four weeks out and our macros and our check-ins and adjustments and everything is from Monday, so in three days. So before that I wanted to fill the gap, film the workout for you guys and then the next video probably gonna be again adjustments, physique update, where I'm at right now, uh, the plants and the full of eating maybe workout maybe not but um yeah the pre-workout meal was 300 grams of a cooked rice we had a uh, seven ounces of a cooked chicken breast 100 grams of a lettuce and 70 grams of avocado ate that sat down ate my meal right then we had a uh, client check-ins online coaching you can apply it's gonna be somewhere here i'm actually spraying my roster now after olympia i'm receiving even more clients join the wait list because there is already all, all uh, over 100 applies for online coaching and I'm sorry for this interruption but I just found that I can finally pick up my new iPhone which I'm gonna show you probably next video uh, anyways while I was eating guys I was watching Jay Cutler's video and then you heard Jay actually texted me again uh, absolute shout out to Jay I connected with that person a lot uh, I like I'm the person who likes to be around the older people uh, because I learn a lot and it's I'm, I'm more like kind of a calm person so I find Jay Cutler like my, someone that like leads me, uh, like an uncle or something like that, me and Kelsey both, we absolutely love him, so uh, uh, he checks on me like every week at least once to see how am I, how is the prep going and everything, he's gonna come to Olympia to support, so yeah, it was epic and now we are off to, we are ready for the gym, I prepared already my stuff and everything, I prepared my uh, pre-workout concoctions and everything, we have a three per usual things. 
So in this Hydro Jug, you know already, we have our aminos from Ghost and hydration from Ghost. I'm gonna be fast. Aminos uh, prevent catabolic state, uh, great taste. Instead of sipping a water, si sipping amino acids, way better. Uh, hydration is basically electrolyzed potassium and sodium, which definitely helps during the workout. It makes, it keeps the pump. Uh, it refreshes you, it replenishes your uh, uh, sodium and stuff like that, so uh, you don't have a cramps, etc, etc, and I sweat a lot, so uh, that's this concoction. Pre-workout concoction, today we chose Normal Legend with a scoop of a gamer, so it's around 250 milligrams of a caffeine, trying to not to go overboard with the caffeine, even though I'm extremely tired, but I don't want to get like stick to do oh i can't work out if i don't use a shit ton of caffeine so i'm going with the lower options and gamer is kind of no tropic so it helps me you know dial in and everything and then what i'm drinking right now before sitting in the car uh alex told me just because i had a couple of like really bad hunger attacks uh to buy some power aid to for the extra electrolytes because i am sweating a lot of time on the move a lot so uh with the power aid zero i uh mixed in my pump product which is again sodium so pump should be really good i hope so even though i'm depleted uh but we did have some carbs and uh yeah that's gonna be all together this during the workout this right now and this on the way to the gym packing my stuff uh and guys i'll see you at the young la gym to walk you through my shoulder and back workout and then i'm gonna show you my post workout meal and that's how this video is gonna roll so by the way by the way wait a second before young lady gym if you saw my full outfit first and foremost this hat fire hat right and then these joggers it matches the color of the hat so it's exactly the same you know your boy so i have a white shirt white shoes green hat green we're rolling, Young LA, uh, October 10th, Tuesday, 12 p.m. PST, code Dorian, 50% off. I love and appreciate you all. See you in Young LA gym. All right, boys and girls, welcome to the gym. So just got here. First things first is uh, cardio. So I have 35 minutes every day right now uh, on a 10 incline, uh, 3.4 speed. What I tend to do is I do 25 minutes in the morning fasted before my breakfast and everything. And then I leave always 10 minutes for the gym. I already spoke about that a million times. Uh, I was a professional athlete, so my body takes a little bit longer to get warm. And even when I play soccer, I will come first in the soccer practice to warm up and uh, go last after stretching and everything because I, my heart rate goes pretty fast down which is pretty good, I recover fast, so I do need to do a cardio to warm my body up. And then long story short, I'm the person who doesn't do a lot of warm up sets. So I start with the lightweight one set, first set, and I'm, I'm immediately into the working sets, which I usually do four working sets and one light warm up set, which I don't even count as a warm up to be honest. If I work out, I work out. For me, that's already contracting the muscle, so uh, that's how we roll 10 minutes of a cardio on this and then uh, i'm gonna start the workout firstly i'm probably gonna hit the back because that's uh, in minority today we only have a two to three exercises for the back and then we're gonna jump on the shoulders and we have a full shoulder workout today That was the first that you call warm-up set. But uh, yeah, lighter weight, 20 reps on each side. As I said, it is warm-up, but like blood is already going in. I already feel my uh, lats. Uh, I usually like to start my workouts, no matter what, if it's a heavy day or lighter day with the cables. Uh, it's just for a blood flow. It's easier weight. It's easier to contract, to focus, have a mind-muscle connection, everything then jump into the barbell or dumbbell and like immediately your joints and everything control is not there so this way easier to control prevents the injuries your body's already warm and then you can hop on uh compound moons and stuff like that so uh that was the first set so now after this we're gonna have four working sets 
Uh, I usually don't even count my reps, to be honest. I go based on a feeling in our off season, yeah, I track progressive overload, obviously, but right now we are not able to build muscle. Right now I'm mostly going for a failure. Uh, because my obviously strength and energy is not there. We're not building any muscle. We just need to go through motions. We need to finish the workout, put everything that we have in each and every workout till Olympia. And uh, that's what I'm doing. So while I'm doing this, just not to wait too long, I'm probably gonna superset immediately the head guys with a single arm lateral shoulder raise. That's why I'm here. That's why I like this machine. Uh, I picked the place that no one's there. So I can start my workout properly, focus on a workout and uh, this is nothing much this warms up the the shoulders pretty well for me so we're gonna do both sides at the same time uh with the back that's how i'm gonna roll just to warm up a little bit before the and plus we are saving some time so we're not resting too much in between if you want a hypertrophy training then yeah rest is important in between but as i said right now for me is keep it and heart, heart rate high uh depleting my glycogen reserves and uh you know do my job so both sides of this jumping on a four sets of a back each and every set for me works that's why i call it warm-up set weight is going higher and higher the last set whatever exercise i do is the highest weight but then i do the drop set because last set we're not going to be able to push the highest weight as a previous set so instead of doing 10 reps which we did in a third set for example i can do maybe six but then we drop a plate or something and then we push six more so that's usually my routine that i do so okay this is a last set drop set i actually did a full stack and now we are dropping from full stack is uh 250 and we dropped to 170 uh both sides using this so there is not a lot of uh tension in our forearms and biceps but instead of that actually pulling with our lats so this is not you being a pussy or a bitch or anything like that this helps you engage the muscle more and uh, actually gives you less tension as i already said on your forearms on your biceps if you want to have a huge po uh, forearms like a popeye but no lats then keep on not using them <clears throat> okay that was heavy and as you can see every rep is that's why i like this machine especially kneeling one because you can stretch as much as you can remember guys when you're doing hexes with the cables and stuff like that remember to stretch as much as you can and then remember to squeeze as much as your range of motion goes those little things adds up it opens up your muscles it opens up your blood flow it builds muscles more than just doing like a half rep so yeah time under tension and technique means a lot when you're building the muscle uh okay that was the first exercise uh delts didn't show you that it was just a warm-up now we're gonna need to figure out probably two more exercises for the back and then going into a uh, delta exercises. Pulling the plate. Second one. Second one for the back. It's gonna be this one. Again, we're gonna do a single arm. As I said, today is more like isolation because if it was the previous video, this was the same week. So we did already hit the back with Nile, but now as I said, a little bit more of isolation. So everything is like single arm movements for the back. First one was basically Let's just say for a upper part of the lats, which is this part, which is pretty important, obviously, for men's physique. Uh, that's where you get your uh, V taper, which is really important. And then this one is more for a lower one, lower part, which is obviously also important because it makes your waist look smaller, also builds that thickness. So as far as concerned, my genetics and everything my proportions my lats are wide my waist is small but i do lack thickness so every single movement that i do for the back is usually i reverse my grip so palm goes on the upper part so if you reverse your grip it basically always hits kind of a lower back so if you do rows like this or in this case single arm 
like this is gonna hit more of your lower part of the back so that's what I'm doing same this is the warm-up set don't know how many we're gonna do but four sets overall First one I said it's warm up, but we did like f uh, 15, one, one side, 15 other side. And then since it was kind of a light, uh, I did with the boat at the same time as well. So yeah, I can't even count that as a warm up set. I can, I can say it's more like working set, definitely. So with that said, since this feels very light, I guess my strength is a little bit better today. Probably, and since it's a single arm pull, which is by the way easier than with the same at the same time. Uh, we're probably gonna go up to four, maybe even five plays, depends how I feel. Build that momentum here. Then one more lighter axis for the back and hopping onto the delts. Well, okay guys, uh, four plates. Well, it felt pretty heavy, I'm not gonna lie, but we pulled it for like eight reps, pretty solid. We're gonna give a try to the five plates right now after being 20 something weeks on prep this wouldn't be bad to pull a couple of times at all on top of that right now we are three and a half weeks out so you know lower food and everything strength is kind of there today which is a good sign it's always a good sign if you're leaning out and the strength is there but uh, yeah, let's see how that one goes. And that's the last set, by the way, fourth one. One more, don't be a bitch. <sighs> Fuck yeah. I definitely felt that one. But that was a that was a good one. Off to the next one. I hope we're not gonna get a copyright. That will suck ass again. Happened multiple times, but uh, I'm trying to change things up. I usually do this with the rope, so rope pull downs, but just to swap it a little bit, to stretch a little bit more uh, our back and lats, because I said we already had a back workout this week. I don't even know what the name of this bar, but um, we're gonna do four working sets. Big stretch on the top, as you can see, and then squeeze. At this point, if you did everything that I do, did so far, you should already have a pretty big pump in your legs, to be honest, because this was everything like blood flowing, squeezing and stretching. So we did a good job with that. That's what we needed to do today for our back. So what we're gonna do, three more working sets of this and uh, super set with a delt, one exercise of delt, and we are done with the back over here. Since we're already here on this machine, I usually don't do front delts with this one, but uh, I'm also a time saver. I try to make things convenient, fast. I need to do it from delts anyway, so we are here, utilizing the space, utilizing the time. That's what I tend to do. So it's not always like my workouts are never fully uh, planned, just because when you work in the gym, you never know when the machine is gonna be empty, when not. And I'm the type of person who's gonna wait. As I said, my body temperature goes and heart rate pretty fast down. So I kind of need to keep on moving. So I know exactly what 
bigger exercise I'm gonna do, but around that, if I have opportunity like this right now, hell yeah, I'm gonna do it. So we're gonna superset with the front velar daisies to raises to uh, warm up delts even more before our delt workout and then hopping into the, there. Whew, that was 20 reps. And that's probably how I'm gonna keep it because I don't need for a front delt so much uh, weight. I'd rather have a blood flowing there. So four sets of that and let's go to the next one. I wouldn't say that delts are starting right now, but technically we already did like two, three exercises for a delt, right? So before we jump, there was like one mid, like middle part of the delt, front delts. Now we are doing real delts. To like and then blood flow is overall all around uh, to be honest as far as concerned real delts I do them twice per week but in a really small uh, proportions let's just say because my real delts are one of the strongest also body parts when I open my back my real delts are actually overpowering so I don't do them a lot but I do them on the back days and on the sh uh, shoulder days so right now we're just gonna do this sitting back deck, reverse back deck, uh, superset with the rope face pull downs, which I'm gonna show you, but we're gonna do only two to three sets of these, uh, just to get the blood flowing before we hop onto the next exercise. So yeah, starting with this one. <clears throat> okay and then superset that with this exercise. And my stuff is already all around here because I already did this before showing you. So you can do a standing one pull down, but I like to do like this because you're way more in control when you do it like this, so. So that was that for a real delt. I mean, that wasn't that. I'm gonna go do one more, so two to three sets. Kind of lighter weight, but super set once again to get the blood going. And now we're gonna have like at least two to three more exercises. We're gonna go maybe a little bit heavier and uh, wrap up the workout. One more set with an eyes, this is the fourth set. I already did one with an eyes, I have no idea why I didn't film that one when I was still fresh. Uh, we pushed eight, but uh, it was solid. Also, one thing that screws me over, I have headphones and then I'm like in my mood, I'm going all, all on it, and then I'm like, well shit, now I need to film the set with the heaviest, because I can't be showing you freaking 15 pound dumbbell press. And then I need to turn off the music because I can't hear myself. So I'm like, it's not the same. Uh, so previous set was okay, now we'll see. This is the last one uh, with the 90s. This one was nine. If you count the first rep, then 10. So I guess either is motivation when I'm filming or I don't know what it is because last set can be better than a previous set. But uh, four sets of this, two, probably two more exercises to wrap up this whole workout because we've been in the gym now hour and a half, but I am filming. So usually I will finish with that 10 minutes of cardio, like an hour and a half. Today's probably gonna be closer to hour 45, two hours, but it's because I'm filming. Anyways, let's find the last two exercises. Technically, the plan was to, after dumbbell presses, to hit the Smith machine press. And yeah, I know it's pretty similar exercises, besides being dumbbell and barbell, but on a Smith machine, you can uh, adjust your body uh, in a way that you can kind of hit in between front and a side delts or even 
push a little bit more with the front delts. But uh, I decided for this machine because this one has a neutral grip. So because my joints kind of hurt, instead of doing the Arnold presses, we're gonna do a neutral grip uh, with this one, uh, which is also hits kind of like a little bit more on the front delts, but also a side delt as well. So we are getting that overall delt today. Um, if I didn't train delts this week, it will probably be at least one extra exercise today, but this is gonna be a four last, and uh, then we're gonna have one more, so. <clears throat> well, I thought delts were fried, but this felt pretty easy. I guess today is either because I'm filming or I've slept better, or actually I didn't sleep at all almost, but this feels lighter today. This is basically the first working set. I always do four. Four working sets for me is like, no matter if I bulk, no matter if I cut, it's always four. Three is a dumb number. Three will be something just to fill the gaps in between or some lower mus uh, smaller muscle groups that are not lacking. There are my like advantage muscle groups, but otherwise it's always uh, four working sets. My battery is about to die, so I need to leave it for at least last access here in the gym and to show maybe a little bit of physique update currently. <clears throat> nope. Okay, whew. Delts are fried, but... Okay, one more. One more access to go. My battery is gonna die. Last exercise, this is the plan that we're gonna obviously execute. You can see me, yeah, perfect. Um, I hope I'm not gonna hit the camera. So, we did four sets of this, and now since we're not gonna have one more exercise, we're gonna go all the way to the failure exhaust, which you should do always for uh, delts. Damn, my delts are separated. But um, what we're gonna do is uh, uh, basically lateral raises. We're gonna start from a like a higher weight, let's just say. And um, uh, every set for a four sets, we're gonna do, do super, uh, drop sets all the way down. Try to like start from a, first set is from 40s, but probably later gonna start like from maybe even 50s, and then go all the way down to like 15s. Or I'm gonna use heavy weight and then go to the machine, which if I did or if I do, is gonna be right now on the screen, super set there with that, because the same exercise is just super setting, so. Yeah, that's the plan. Total exhaustion of Adels and uh, go home, eat the meal. <clears throat> that was 40s, off to 30s. <clears throat> oh my God, that hurts bad. 25s. <clears throat> I'm gonna grab 15s now and wrap up with that. Oh my god. God, I don't know if you can see, but. First set was all the way dumbbells. Next second set is gonna be with the machine. So I'm gonna do two times with a, all the way to the dumbbells and two times with a, with a machine just to, machine kind of gives you a little bit less tension of our joints and everything. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna finish my last set, show you maybe a little bit of physique update where we are right now and uh, wrap up the workout. Workout is done. Fast physique update. I'm probably gonna get a copyright, but it is what it is. Also, don't mind my midsection because I was wearing the belt, so if I have like... Belts are looking juicy. Honestly, I'm happy four weeks out. We have a 
plenty of time to refuel and uh, become better. I can't even flex, I'm so tired. <clears throat> it's gonna be a wrap. I am tired, three and a half weeks out. We're not done. Uh, we're going home, but there was a full workout. My battery's gonna die. Uh, let me change my clothes and I'll catch you in a car probably. All right, guys, you are crooked, and this is absolutely not essential, but I found uh, this, whatever that is, in front of the gym, and uh, this is a pure roll of vlog. I show you the workout, I show you my whole routine, what I'm doing. Usually, I don't smoke after the gym. Only if the workout was kind of like longer and like exhausting because my CNS like after driving back home is like all around the place. Then I will light and literally have like one to two puffs like right now. And then I turn it off. Don't smoke and drive guys. It's not safe. I know exactly how much just to relax me. By the way, I didn't even show you Angela Gym. Angela Gym is almost done. It's going to be sick. Basketball court is almost done. VIP lounge almost done. But uh, I'm gonna make a whole other video about that. And one last thing before we uh, go home to eat our post workout meal. As far as concerned, delts, I have a pretty good delts, and delts are pretty difficult to develop, same as the calves, because delts are one of the muscle groups that you are using more than any other muscle groups besides the calves. So, calves, you're walking every day, you're using them almost 100% of the time, right, when you're on your feet. Same with the shoulders. You're using your shoulders by moving your arms, your hands, anything, all the time. So with that said, shoulders needs more attention. Shoulders needs more uh, time and attention, more volume, more reps, more sets, more drop sets, more supersets to develop them. I will highly recommend the most two favorite exercises is always like obviously some kind of push movement like uh, dumbbell raises or uh, overhead military press or the um, Smith machine press. Uh, and besides that, definitely to develop the shoulders is like the last set that I did, the last exercise that I did. Uh, letter raises, uh, drop sets, super sets, crush your shoulders. Shoulders can take way more basically than any other muscle group. So to, to develop them, you need to crush them. I do have a one whole day shoulder day and one with a touch up same as a back. So uh, the most important parts for men's physique in particular, high men's physique is uh, upper chest, shoulders and V taper. V taper comes from a wide lats, obviously small waist. You can't smaller down, lower or smaller down your waist. You can develop your lats. Uh, it's, but if you have a wide waist, genetically, you're not gonna be, shut up, you're not gonna be better than average, right? Uh, but if you have a small waist and no lats, future is bright because you can develop them, right? Same as the shoulders, if you have a, not the wide shoulders, broad shoulders, then you are screwed. But if you do have bright shoulders, you don't have maybe delts developed, no worries for you. Over time, it's just the patience, hard work, and you're gonna get there. So, uh, yeah, that was the message. I hope you enjoyed this workout. Sitting right now in the car, and I'm uh, gonna show you my post-workout meal, and that's gonna be a wrap. And by the way, the drip from Young LA. Look at this tea also. I'm all dripped out. 
you probably can't see me because the lighting is too much. But anyways, yeah, call Dorian 50% off, see you at home. All right, guys, we are back home and instantly I don't drink shakes. Uh, even kind of, you know, off prep, especially now on the prep, but even on the off prep, instantly when I come back home, I'm eating my post-workout meal, uh, which is for me really extremely fast digestive. Uh, as long as you eat the meal lowering the fats, your body's probably gonna digest that fast. For example, for me, rice digests uh, extremely, extremely fast. So I'm gonna tell you what we have right now. Uh, it's gonna be rolling on the screen while I'm making it, but we're gonna have a six ounces of uh, cooked chicken breast, 250 grams cooked jasmine rice, and we're gonna have a 50 grams of a lettuce for this one. And yeah, that's gonna be the post workout meal. As far as concerned, seasoning and stuff like that, I usually use everything the same. Uh, garlic powder, sea salt, uh, pink salt and stuff like that. Uh, from the condiments, I'm using sriracha or mustard because there is no calories. But I did find this, whatever that is, shout out to them. It's called uh, Mr. Taste or something. All of their products are zero calories. They have some sodium inside a little bit but uh the thing with the condiment seasonings and everything like that guys is as long as you keep everything consistent back to back you're not gonna have problems with anything uh, because your body just adjusts to uh, whatever you are using and consuming all the time so i don't count it whatever is zero i don't count that because i'm using it constantly and uh it's not gonna be a problem Especially this one, curry ketchup. Guys, curry ketchup, if you never try it. I live in Germany, this is the first place that I try curry ketchup and I absolutely love that. Uh, by the way, not showing anything, all of my meals are coming from Megafit. As you can see, only thing that I do, so for example, this chicken and rice, I put it on the plate, I heat it up, uh, and that's gonna be it. And yeah, that's a wrap. That was a cl classic, guys. Bodybuilding bro, gym bro video so i can skip this kind of videos if you want it's not easy for me to film work i was in the gym two and a half hours just because of this but let me know if you like it's actually kind of cool to like talk to you guys and like show you how it looks like come come cookie we'll come here and uh there she is even cookie saying hi thank you for watching comment down below if you like it uh bro to 30k i guess subscribe like share uh We'll see you on episode number five, I reckon. Love you.